How much do you know about Reg Dwight? Nothing? Well, let's get most smartest. Contrary to what the Rocketman movie tells us, Elton took his stage name from bandmates Elton Dean and Long John Baldry. Name the band. The Beatles, Bluesology, The Who, or The Dominoes. It was Bluesology. He chose Hercules as his middle name. It was the name of a horse on a British sitcom. Elton was not Disney's first choice to write the Lion King soundtrack. Who was? Cher, Bono, Abba, or Beck? It was Abba. Oh well, Acuna Fernando just doesn't have the same ring to it. What should you do right now? Subscribe, like, share, or comment on my video. Do all of them. Stop. Do it now. I'll wait. Where does Elton rank on Billboard's list of Hot 100 Artists of All Time? First, third, fifth, or seventh? He is third after the Beatles and Madonna. How many live concerts has Elton played since his career really took off in 1969? Almost a thousand? About 1,500? Just shy of 2,700 or over 3,500? Over 3,500 in more than 80 countries. You know that Bernie Taupin is Elton's longtime writing partner. How did they meet? On Facebook? Their mums? On the bus? Or through an ad? Through an ad, Elton responded to an ad for songwriters by Liberty Records. What is the most number of albums Elton has released in a year? Two, four, one, or three. It is four. Tumbleweed Connection, Friends, 11, 17, 70, and Mad Mad Across the Water. Why did Elton start wearing glasses, goofy or otherwise? He had bad eyes. He loved spectacles. To imitate Buddy Holly or to look cool? To imitate Buddy Holly, Elton started wearing fake glasses at 13 years old. In what year did Elton release Crocodile Rock, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting, Benny and the Jets, and Candle in the Wind, 1983, 1969, 1973, or 1979? 1973, Crocodile Rock becomes his first number one hit. Contrary to popular belief, Candle in the Wind is not about Marilyn Monroe. What is it about? Young and popular blondes, dying young and overindulgence, the innocence of the 1950s, or JFK and the Kennedy family. Dying young and overindulgence. Bernie has often stated that Marilyn was simply a metaphor. And how many of the years from 1970 to 1995 did Elton have a top 40 hit? All of them. 17, 11, or 5. It was all of them. He is the only musical artist to have hit the top 40 for every one of these years. Elton and Bernie wrote a little ditty called Your Song, but they didn't record it first. Who did? Simon and Garfunkel, James Taylor, Billy Joel, or Three Dog Night? It was Three Dog Night. In support of Elton being an up-and-comer, they did not release it as a single so he could. This future collaborator of Elton's had an uncredited vocal on Step Into Christmas. George Michael, Kiki D, Lady Gaga, or Dua Lipa. Kiki D, nope, Don't Go Breaking My Heart was not the first time they sang together. 
Who played harmonica on I Guess That's Why They Call It The Blues? Howard Levy, Elton John, Junior Wells, or Stevie Wonder? It was Stevie Wonder, of course. Stevie has played uncredited on many popular songs. In January of 1969, Elton auditioned to be lead singer of what group? The Who, Free, The Moody Blues, or King Crimson? King Crimson. He didn't get the gig, but a year later he released your song, so that was that. According to Bernie Taupin, who is the song Tiny Dancer about? His first wife Maxine, LA's free-spirited women, ladies of London's ballet, or Native American dancers? The free-spirited women of LA. Although the song is dedicated to Maxine on the Madman album, Bernie says nope. A young, pre-fame Elton played piano on which of Tom Jones' biggest hits? It's not unusual. Delilah, Danny Boy, or This Time. It's not unusual. It was not unusual for Elton to play uncredited on the records of others. In March of 2015, what did Elton's mom, Sheila, do to celebrate her 90th birthday? Had piano birthday cake, hired an Elton tribute singer, attended an Elton concert, or had dinner with Elton and David? She hired an Elton tribute singer. The phony Elton sang, Don't Go Breaking My Heart with the real Kiki D. Elton's millions made him the second richest singer in the UK. Which singer is richer than him? Roger Waters, Ed Sheeran, Paul McCartney, or Rihanna? Paul McCartney. Not bad for being broke in 2001. Where do Elton and Bernie meet to write their songs? South of France? In London? Nowhere? Or in California? Nowhere. Elton and Bernie have never been in the same room when writing. A group of British rock stars, including Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, and Elton John, funded what hilarious movie? Monty Python and the Holy Grail, Monty Python's Life of Brian, National Lampoon's Vacation, or Robin Hood Men in Tights. It was Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Seemingly one of Elton's biggest songs, Tiny Dancer, only made it to number 41 on US charts. How about the UK? Number one, number 10, it was not a single, or number 20. It was not a single in the UK. The label didn't release it as they thought it had no strong hook. Elton, Freddie Mercury, and Who once joked about starting a group called Hair, Nose, and Teeth. Rod Stewart, John Lennon, David Bowie, or Roger Daltrey. Rod Stewart. I guess Elton and Rod's feud is not as feudy as some would like to think. In 2020, Elton's ex-wife Renata stated that after their divorce, she did what? Changed identity and went into hiding, wrote a book, returned to her old sound job, or bought a huge new mansion. She changed identity and went into hiding. Renata had sued Elton over parts of the Rocket Man movie. In 2010, Elton infuriated religious groups in the U.S. by calling Jesus what? Overrated and unnecessary, a super intelligent gay man, a character in a story, or a happily married man. A super intelligent man. Elton wrote the music for the stage musical Lion King. What distinction does it hold? Highest grossing in theater history, the most number of animal costumes, highest payroll ever on Broadway, longest running on the West End. Highest grossing in theater history, even bigger than Wicked or Phantom of the Opera. August 25, 1970 is arguably the biggest day in Elton's entire life. 
Why was it such a big day? He turned 21 that day. His first album hit number one. He met his lyricist Bernie Toppin, or he opened at the Troubadour. He opened at the Troubadour. That night made him a star. Ten days earlier, he was doing session work. Time to check out the videos I put in front of you right now.